Well, it's not just people that are at risk from this record-breaking heat. Yes, Kagan 9's Craig Smith reports even plants adapted to the desert can have trouble when heat's uh, this extreme. It is just so hot, and you don't really need us to tell you that, but this heat has been so hot, and it has lasted so unusually long. There are some ways it's getting to these tough desert plants. Swarrows can live an average of 150 to 175 years, so they're going to go through a lot of heat waves and cold snaps. But sometimes the weather can catch up with these plants. At the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum, Botanist Eric Rakestraw says he is concerned this sustained blast of hot weather could hurt the new generation of swarrows. He says the young ones may have trouble growing up to become a desert giant because conditions are hurting the other plants, the nurse plants that help small swarrows survive. It's end of July, typically in an optimal, mon optimal monsoon situation. These plants would be fairly lush right now, and so those plants provide cover for those seedlings. They provide cover from the sun, they keep moisture in around the roots, and they also act as protection against predators. They actually hide the plant uh, until the plant is, has enough resources to survive on its own. There are reports from the Phoenix area that heat that does not let up even at night could affect large swarrows. Rakestraw thinks that's less likely to affect swarrows in natural areas and more likely to hurt swarrows transplanted into very urbanized settings where crowds, cars, and concrete amplify the heat. In places like Phoenix in that urban core, when you have that heat island effect, we don't have those cool downs at night. And so theoretically, um, the nighttime temperatures when they remain in the 90s could could mess with their metabolism. But for now, he sees that as a potential threat. He says swarrows live so long. A long, hot summer for us is a short time for them. So it will take time and study to confirm if there's any effect. At the Desert Museum, Craig Smith, KGUN 9.